hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele and i am back with another recipe have you ever walked on the streets of accra and the aroma of kelewele draws you from miles away in search of where it is being fried yes this is that friday night in my house <laughs> In a bowl, add in some chili peppers. To that, some water. We're going to soak this so that it'll soften up beautifully. So when we're grinding, it'll give us an easy time, not a hard time. Now, to our earthen pot or can, add in some cloves. To that, calabash nutmeg, ginger, our soaked chili peppers that are now nice and soft, and some salt to taste. And we're going to grind this to our preferred smoothness. When it comes to kele wele, you really don't need to grind it until it is super smooth because we want to see the spices stick on our plantains. Now the secret ingredients that without it, you may have kele wele, but it won't be quite the same as what is on the streets of Accra is a uh, calabash nutmeg. Yes, it is the biggest and best ingredient for this whole recipe. The next ingredient that is a must have is your onion. Oh my goodness, it takes this whole dish to the next level. Now, all the ingredients are very important, but these two are must haves, okay? Next, we're going to go ahead and peel and cut our plantains so this is one way you can peel it and i've already gone ahead to wash my plantains because i do not want to transfer dirt from the back of the plantain to the food itself okay so once i'm done peeling i'll cut it in half and then i'll cut it on a bias please use a cutting board for this part if you don't know how to cut this way because i don't want anybody to hurt themselves okay and when we cut this way we ease the plantain into the knife not the other way around we start cutting but to the middle we just ease the plantain into the knife that way we don't cut ourselves the second easy method is by cutting the plantain right down the middle with the peel on and then we ease the peel off halfway and then we cut it into our preferred shape and sizes this is the way most of the vendors cut it because they are now wasting water to wash their plantains and they don't want it to get dirty so this is the best way for them you can do it this way as well Once done, we'll stir everything together, ensuring that each plantain is well coated with some of our delicious, delicious spices, okay? But we are not frying this right away. The secret to getting the best kelewele is to allow this marinade for about 15 to 30 minutes if you have that time. If you don't have time, you can fry it right away, but coating it like this and leaving it to marinate is the best way. Then we have our oil nicely heated up. We'll transfer our kiliwili into it. Another tip is to not spare once you drop it in allow it to fry and it'll separate itself beautifully just like this that's when you can stir it and also stir it gently and periodically until our kelewele is nice and golden brown now today's special two goes to veronica seco sally asantua and sophia nelson thank you for being among the first to comment sweet himo too nyehia too if you would like your name to be amongst the three in our next recipe comment sweet himo 
too and you may just be amongst them our kelewele is nice and golden so we're going to get it out onto a paper towel lined plate to get any excess oil out and it'll be a beautiful friday night once this was ready everybody was heading downstairs because the aroma of the sweetness from the plantain and the beautiful spices around it drew everybody downstairs and we got right into it if you've enjoyed me to this point let me know where you're watching me from and also comment sweet himo too and i'll give you a special too in our next recipe until i see you in the next one stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke unamini uchemi sweet mahabutu bye y'all